There are six dogs who are regulars at Doggy Daycare, Great Damien, Corey, Lisa Opso, and Lance Opso, Francis Bulldog, and Chiquita. One afternoon, Chiquita finds her food bowl empty. She calls on Great Damien to help her find out who ate her food when she wasn't looking. Great Damien inspects the food bowl and takes a sample of DNA as evidence. The five dogs are suspects and the DNA samples are taken from their saliva in order to use DNA fingerprinting. DNA fingerprinting can be done by inspecting variable number tandem repeats or VNTR where the alleles are determined by the length of the DNA in which a sequence of core base pairs repeats itself for a different number of times for each individual. The pups inherit one set of chromosomes including the VNTR from each parent. Because VNTR loci are polymorphic and very individualized, they can be used for personal identification. By comparing the alleles of the two loci in each DNA sample to the DNA found at the crime scene, Great Damien can figure out who ate Chiquita's food. Here you can see the VNTR lengths with bones as a unit of measurement at locus A for each pup. The apsos have matching VNTR lengths with four bones, which makes sense because Lance Apso inherited one allele from his mother. You can also see that some of the other dogs, such as Corey and Francis Bulldog, also have one matching allele, but this is merely by chance. For Locus B, the paw prints are the units of measurement, and the Apsos still have one allele in common, which is expected for all loci. But now, Corey and Francis Bulldog do not have any alleles in common. DNA is also sampled from Chiquita in order to make sure that evidence collected is not hers from before the crime. In order to see these alleles, Great Damien amplifies the loci from the collected DNA and uses gel electrophoresis. Once the results are completed, we can analyze the gel lanes to rule out some suspects. At locus A, the evidence has an allele at the 7 and 5 mark, and Chiquita and Corey are exact matches for both alleles, so they cannot be ruled out. Great Damien and Francis Bulldog only have one matching allele, and since this is an identification test and not a paternity test, we can rule them out. The APSOs do not have any alleles in common with the evidence, so they can be ruled out as well. At locus B, the evidence has alleles at the 4 and 5 mark. Since Chiquita and Corey cannot be ruled out for locus A, let's look at their results for locus B first. Chiquita does not match any of the alleles from the evidence, but Corey does. Francis Bulldog matches both alleles, but since he was not a perfect match for the alleles of locus A, he is still ruled out. Great Damien and the APSO pups do not have any alleles in common with the evidence, but even if they did, they would still be ruled out because they were not perfect matches in locus A.